Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a scientist at Moffitt Cancer Center. Today I'm going to show you how to extract DNA from a strawberry using items that you have sitting around your house. DNA is the molecule inside all living um, animals, strawberries, anything that's alive that tells that organism what it's going to be and what it's going to look like. So for example, for the DNA inside your cells, that will tell your body what color hair you have, what color eyes you have. So you can really think of it as a blueprint for your body. So even strawberries have DNA inside their cells, so that DNA will tell the strawberry what part will be fruit, what will be the leaves, what will be the seeds. Right, so today I'm going to show you how to get DNA out of the strawberry. So let's first go through the items that we're going to need to do the experiment. The first thing we're going to want is a Ziploc baggie that makes sure it seals so that you can close your strawberries in there. The next thing you're going to need is three to four strawberries, and these can either be fresh strawberries or frozen. We're going to need a half a cup of water, some just regular table salt, some dish soap, or any sort of detergent will work, even shampoo or laundry detergent. We're going to need a mixing bowl to mix everything together in, and either a cup or glass or a jar, it doesn't matter, a coffee filter, some isopropyl alcohol or just regular rubbing alcohol from the drugstore. Um, and I like to keep mine cold, so I just put it in the freezer uh, for a couple hours before we do the experiment. And then finally, you're going to need a toothpick or anything that looks like a stick. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is mash these strawberries up. So these strawberries contain tens of thousands of cells, and each one of those cells has DNA inside of it. First thing we're going to do is take our strawberries. I'm going to take three to four and put them inside of our Ziploc baggie. Make sure you seal it so that you don't make a huge mess. And in order to get the DNA out, we need to smash these strawberries. So you're just going to squeeze them to make a strawberry mush, just until there's not a bunch of huge chunks left in there. So what we're doing here is breaking open the cell wall of the strawberry and we're also breaking apart all of those cells. So the next thing we're going to do is to break open all the cells and let the DNA out. So the DNA is inside the nucleus of the cell and in order to get it out, we have to break that open. So the way that we're going to do that is by making a solution of salt and detergent. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our half a cup of water and pour it into our mixing bowl. And then we are going to take a teaspoon of table salt. And add that to our water. And then next, we're going to use this detergent or dish soap. We're gonna take two tablespoons of that and add that to our salt water solution. Just mix that up a little bit. And now we're just going to pour this solution into the strawberries. So what the salt and the soap are doing are breaking open all the cells of the strawberry and letting all of the cellular contents out. So that means the DNA is now going to be in the solution. So gently just squeeze this around for one to two minutes until you have a liquidy strawberry mess. So the next thing we have to do to separate our, our DNA is to separate the big chunks of strawberries from all the liquid. So the way we're going to do that is by using a coffee filter. And I'm going to use this jar, but you can also use any sort of cup. And we're going to stick the coffee filter inside the jar and just fold it over. And then pour all of the liquid and all the goop inside the coffee filter. So you can see that the liquid is starting to flow through to the bottom and all the strawberry chunks are staying in the top. So just slowly pour in all the chunks that you can and all of the liquid and let that liquid drain through the coffee filter into the bottom. So you can speed this up a little bit if you want to by unfolding your coffee filter and gently squeezing so that you get a little bit more of the liquid out. So this pink liquid in the bottom contains all the DNA inside the strawberry. So 
So now that all of the DNA is inside this liquid, uh, we want to do something so that we can actually see it. So what we're going to use is our ice cold rubbing alcohol. So we're just going to pour in about an equal amount to this. So just eyeball about the same amount of liquid and slowly pour that in. And then start to watch it. So you, what will start to happen is that you'll see two layers forming. The layer on the top is a lighter pink and you'll see some white chunks in it. And the layer on the bottom uh, is darker pink. So the layer on the top that has the white in it, that's where the DNA is. So if you let that sit for a few seconds, uh, when you see a lot of white on top, you can take your toothpick and start to swirl that around. And just start to wind that white gooey stuff that looks like snot onto the end of your toothpick and pull it out. And that's the strawberry, that's the DNA in your strawberry. So if you take your DNA that you just isolated, you can spread it out on a different Ziploc baggie to see the structure of it. You can see that it's very streamy, sort of slimy, uh, but the DNA is made up of a bunch of strands all put together. And if you took one strand from one cell, it would be six feet long. So think of all the tens of thousands of cells we isolated DNA from, and all of that is tightly wound up right here. I hope you enjoyed this fun science experiment where we isolated DNA from a strawberry using things that you can find in your kitchen. Thank you for watching.